Hello, YouTubers. This is a quick session uh, for me and my brother Mabruk here where we get to kind of discuss a, a, a new upgrade to the library exceptions. Like uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the library, it's basically a, a library that is a wrapper around the entity framework. And what it basically does, it helps software engineers kind of get a more meaningful exception. So that's actually where the name came from. EF, entity framework and exceptions exceptions right uh brother mabrook here you know he basically you know went out there and kind of added in some uh amazing additional features that allows the library to operate not just based on sql server which is what we mostly use uh, with the exceptions library but he wanted to extend it to mysql what else well there's mabrook uh, sql, MySQL. Light. SQL awesome. light i i want to also extend it to cosmos db and all these different kind of yeah. libraries so i think so this session, just, just for the people watching, this is a little bit of advanced engineering kind of session, you mm -hmm. know, um, so you won't see hello worlds or anything like that. Right. Uh, but mostly it will be around like, you know, how do we even tackle a problem like that? Right. How do we go about a problem like that? Let's just first kind of give people Mabruk, Let's give people just a high level. Mm -hmm. Let me just pick up a project here. Let's pick up Git file. Git file is a great project for this. Yeah. If I go into a the source code in here, and I just need a storage broker. Storage broker. Here it is. So so check this out. When we set this when we set this up, you will notice that you know the exceptions context is basically this is literally this is really all you have to do this exceptions context and then it takes care of everything for you because basically it'll go and say i i will take care of any exceptions that come out of your communications like if you go and do an ad or do a a uh, a retrieval or do a find async or any of that it'll take care of that for you i think it's mainly going around the save changes async changes. right so so if i share with people kind of source code of course the library is open source uh so yeah. it can be very easily kind of it's 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 a it's a it's it's one of my fir very very first uh, nuget packages that i published mm -hmm. out there for people kind of take advantage of okay it's that's famous now <laughs> it's a very famous library now right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i i i honestly don't know i know that restful sense I know Restful Sense is super popular. I know that, but yeah, yeah exceptions is okay. Yeah, it's all right, you know, yeah. you know. But uh, it looks like a exception with the X is even more popular. Yeah, it's funny because this one came after this one. <laughs> I, I think I think the reason for this is just it's literally just what you said. It's basically the First of all, adaptation, but also more importantly, like how many people are using SQL versus Cosmos? How many yeah. people care about getting exceptions? Like most of these libraries are giving you more than just one thing, right? Yeah. Like Restful Sense is giving a lot of things, like the the serialization, the problem details, the you know codes that you don't have out of the box in ASP.NET Core. So I think. So okay, so let's just go back here. I know that Shimmy Shimmy with Sandler basically added this identity part and there there's an infrastructure hmm. and then there's some shared pieces in here for the exception service yeah. throwing meaningful exceptions so get the exception get the sql error and then convert and throw a meaningful exception and i'm assuming that this one here this convert one yeah mm -hmm. let's see here is it yeah there it yeah. is so convert and throw meaningful exception like today it doesn't really support a whole lot just based on you know what we're Some, that what based on what we're using you yeah, know because, most use it codes right sql server has forty four thousand codes yeah right so that's gonna take a while to kind of figure out right so we're gonna have to kind of think through something like that so okay so let's just go back to so this is the shared piece okay and then in the original library itself there isn't really much there's just the the context and the context is delivering the shared piece to go do all that stuff so every time you do 
uh, safe changes, safe changes. Things. It'll take that DB update exception, give it to throw meaningful exception, and then and that's propagate. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is on safe changes, safe changes, and safe changes async. And we covered up all of these. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. So now, now you have a pull request. You have a proposal, right? And this big proposal, pull request. <laughs> a massive, a massive pull request. Yeah. Let's, see, let's see how that's gonna work you know why because i had the code already in some forked version you know and i just took it tuck, 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 and yeah. <laughs> you have to just took care of all of it yeah. and it's yeah. ready to go okay yeah. i think i think we broke github look yeah <laughs> there you go we're back okay i'm so. not broke i should broke you're you're you're, you're. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny. Yeah. All right, let's let's take a look at this. So this is so you basically went and said, I want my SQL, my SQL light, yeah. and SQL server. Yeah. Mm. So now what does your let's open this in a proper and a code viewing. Kind of, yeah. How are you doing, brother? All good in Germany over there? fine yeah you well, like my t-shirt i like your t-shirt yeah lord lord give me more knowledge that's that's a, <laughs> a verse <from> god. <laughs> yep lord yeah. give me more knowledge <clears throat> i like it i love it too i love it too how are you gonna enter the bathroom with that <laughs> i don't go <laughs> i don't go to the bathroom on, so. yeah only, only for streaming <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem my yeah. my preacher side will show up and then i will be like okay wait a second why are you <laughs> i think I, I think we had the same problem with with rings as well the rings that have like holy words on them and stuff mm -hmm. like that it becomes a little bit problematic yeah. you have to leave it outside okay so yeah. first of all you know you should probably fix your visual studio to keep that system directives at the top okay just just out of curiosity and yeah. I think, no, seriously, I think GitHub is broken because look at the icons. All the <laughs> icons are gone. Do I just give it like a hard refresh maybe? Yeah, here we go. Well, okay. I have system two times here. Yeah, I think something is up with the yeah. system two times where? Uh, no. as, uh, the, the, the position was changed somehow. But, yeah, I think that's because you probably ran a code cleanup, but your Visual Studio is not configured to keep the directives at the top, right? Mm. The way yeah. the way to do you know how to do that, right? You know, the way you to know. do it is just to go just for people kind of watching both of us. If I go into tools, options, and I type in system like this, and then if you go to C Sharp Advanced, you should have a tiny thing that should give mm -hmm. you place system directives first when sorting users. Oh, I don't have this active, sure. Okay. Nice. All right, you know it now. Yes. Record it <laughs> live. We learn. You know it, it's on record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this one. So let's see what happened to the MySQL the me the MySQL business logic you basically went and said you created a broker so this is MySQL no, error broker MySQL. let's see this is um, to to get the error code from each system from MySQL or SQLite so okay. Right. Let's see. Why it takes too much time. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Now, something, something is really wrong with, uh, with GitHub this morning. I'm telling you. Oh my lord, everything is broken. Okay, this one works. It'll mm -hmm. it'll pick and choose like the ones that it wants to work with versus. <laughs> it'll pick and choose. Maybe you can just open it in the Visual Studio. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. I'll try one more time and then, yeah, there you go. So mm -hmm. you have your, okay. Yeah. So the numbers on the, okay. And then how did you do 
the mapping then because the mapping will be different right because numbers i'm assuming the mysql error numbers and errors are different right right um, not all i think what we have there common what we have here in the list like like what we have in here like this error code so if you go here and say here's my broker yeah actually i mean what we are handling now yeah the, the short list of codes okay so you're passing this service yeah so this is the service and the service in the is in the, the shared folder exactly so this is exception service uh and then What if these codes kind of conflict? Do you think they would ever conflict? I mean, you tried it. It works, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I tested it. There is also unit test with the same same test. Okay. It's just working with uh, MySQL exceptions. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I wonder, if, Cos tests. wonder mm -hmm. if Cosmos DB has error codes as well. Let's see. Oh, this one is an API, so it's, it's kind of spitting out mm. status codes instead of failed to get access. Error, yeah, status codes. Ah, uh, and I didn't even know they did that. They basically picked up the HTTP status codes and they added on top of them. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. This will be great future. We need to we need to figure out a way to allow every yeah. uh, permutation, like every version of uh, exception, to kind of. Well, then let me ask you this, uh, Mabrook. How does it know which uh, which which library you're working with? So you just pass in. So what's like? How would how would yeah. that change how we use this library today? So you need to generate different nugget packages so that people that are using MySQL, they don't need to know to, to, to have the code of SQLite, for example, or for SQL Server. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have it in different projects mm -hmm. instead of in different services in the same library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and we have the core, so the core can be a separated NuGet package, can be installed uh, with other libraries. And so oh. let's say you are installing MySQL library, mm -hmm. it will use the core library. It, it should also bring core with it automatically, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Here, the work, the work is done really in the core and the shaded. Project. yeah yeah most of code the rest is just kind of you're just kinda. changing the context uh, you're basically going and saying handling the the the, the specific exception my sql exception or uh sql exception or sql that's, that's exception. where it comes that's in. It. referencing the library of my sql or sql light okay. this is the only difference you can say I see you. You see? Also the tests. They yeah. are identical. Yeah. And this was cool because I didn't change anything in the tests. I just changed the, 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 the exception. Just the exception. Works. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's what... Cool. Uh, yeah, that's what this guy Shimmy, Shimmy with Handler, he did. You know, like you know, we haven't talked in a while, but you know, he basically went. He does he does software engineering for fun, like Beethoven, yeah. right? <laughs> he he right. just looks at it like it's not even his daily job. You know, mm -hmm. he just does it just for funsies. You know, so okay, so SQL broker. I also want to know if this is like a a breaking change. For these uh for the existing because there's a massive amount of projects 
that are leveraging exceptions today. Yeah. Okay, so here's here's a strategy with this. This is just my two cents, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we need to roll out these. Um, well, we we basically need, well, this PR should be something like, I would call it maybe foundations because you're adding services, mm -hmm. right? And then um, enable SQL. Is that how you spell it? Or is there another L in there? Yeah, it's correct. Like this. Cool light. Yeah, right. cool light. Okay. And MySQL um, uh, support. Okay, so we'll put that mm -hmm. in there. I think that's okay. And then what we're really going to need to do, Mabrook, is to basically... So so you tried this. You tested this on a local project, right? Yeah. All of it. I use it. I use my SQL uh, version okay. for my project. So. Okay. All right. What, this what, what, this was a need for me. <laughs> that's yeah, why that's, I really... Yeah, that's the beauty of it. You know, yeah. I, you know yeah. the best project. Okay. <laughs> So here's what we're going to do, you know, as long as you tried it locally, you know, and it mm -hmm. seems to be working, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pull this library down and build it and try mm -hmm. it against a bunch of the projects that I already have. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I will remove exceptions from the, from the projects that we already have. And then I'll basically go and say, okay, you know, um, instead of exceptions from the NuGet package, give me this reference, this local project, yeah. right? And I'm going to run it and see if that works, right? Because I know, I know exceptions haven't been touched in a while, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna play well. Well, it does play well today with with .NET seven projects. It plays just fine. I know that if you upgrade the Entity Framework to seven, we start running into some problems. But that's more buggy things that are happening on the uh, uh, .NET team kind of side you know, kind of experimenting with preview versions and stuff like that than anything else, right? Uh, let's let's do this together. Since we're sitting here, yeah. we're having fun, right? We can do it together, right? Yeah, sure. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go and take that version of yours. So here is code. I know you can't see me yet. It's Open Visual Studio. Yeah, I already have exceptions setting in the source repos, so let's open it up. Also, let me increase the screen size here. Well, mm -hmm. well, I'm I'm getting soon this uh, this uh, this Odyssey arc, so it's gonna be very interesting how we're gonna stream <laughs> with an Odyssey yeah. arc. Have you have you heard of the Odyssey arc yet? No. no. Okay, I'll sh I'll show you something in a second. Sure. So. So you know I have these monitors, right? These are just yeah. one. So what I'm gonna get soon is basically this guy here. I just saw it and I was like, okay, that's. Uh, that's I don't see. Uh, your yeah, screen. yeah. That's yeah. that's like enough space. So this is Samsung mm -hmm. Odyssey Arc. Yeah. So. Oh. So what's up with this one? It's like two of these on top of each other, connected to each other. No, <laughs> cool. it's ridiculous, Amazing. you know. Um, so I want to. Sh there it is. So this is. This is the monitor. It's two of oh, them on top cool. of each. Other. <laughs> cool. So, so we have basically uh, it's like two, one, two, three, four, five, six screens like of six. mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you can flip it like what people are doing now is that they're flipping it. First of all, the, the, the refresh rate on this thing is ridiculous. Like, you know, they have like a really cool refresh rate there. Mm. It's It's very seamless and all that. But, you know, what some people do, this is hilarious. I, I should try that just for fun for people just to see how I'm gonna be reading code. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> to, to to read our uh, my pull request. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you think that'd be enough space to read your pull request? Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't yeah. thought I haven't really thought about this, but I actually realized like the 
if I use this monitor here, that means that I'm like, I'm going to put the yeah. camera on top of it. I'm going to be looking at you like this. <laughs> Hello, you know? You're going to be YouTubers. like, Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> Can you hear me up there? <laughs> This is not this is not home office anymore. This is home cinema. <laughs> yeah, but becoming home cinema. I swear, man, yeah. that's that's hilarious. I don't know if I don't like, it, I'll just give it back. But I think it's uh, I think it's interesting. Worst case yeah. scenario, I'll just give it back to my Mac and yeah. take my Mac to monitor, put it up here. You know. Um, anyway, I I thought that that was just like a fun side segue. But uh, okay, let's go back mm -hmm. to Visual Studio here. Yeah. Let's pull out this library of yours with my small small monitor <laughs> that i have today <laughs> yeah okay let's see so open project solution and then we want to go to repos and then exceptions here's exceptions open and i probably need to update this i don't think yeah it does have the shared folder in it okay mm -hmm. what yeah. was i changing in here i don't remember so i do take this out yeah. Think. The name is very cool. Exceptions. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, you know, I tried that to like. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember Paul? Paul Wardy. He's with us in the standard community. The dude. Yeah. 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 The dude yeah. from England. The one yeah, who yeah. says computer instead of computer. <laughs> I don't know what's that about. But anyway, <laughs> he he actually uh, he actually thought he had a, he has a good idea. He basically said. All, all your libraries should be an extension of the standard. It should be it should be the yep. standard dot exceptions, right? Good idea. Yeah. I I don't think it's a bad idea. I think I think that's a good idea. But I'm um, just trying to kind of changing the name at this at this stage, meaning that there will be some breaking changes for some folks. Sure, for the user libraries, yes. Right, right. So I don't know how that's gonna play. Uh, let's see here, Mabrook. What's your branch name? Oh, is it this one? Okay. Okay. These are your changes, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try. That's the beauty of this. I'm going to try to add in the existing library mm -hmm. into a project like old triple S and run acceptance tests. It's almost yeah. like having tests. Kind of gives you the assurance that certain yeah. upgrades in your project is not breaking anything instead of you having to set up the world and all that yeah. so and this oh, is why we have tests right the other thing that i'm thinking here so you have these folders right sql server sql Lite, yeah. mysql and core yeah. what does core do anyway it's for identity and db base yeah okay there's there's a whole lot of code comments that you're going to be getting <laughs> Yeah. Because we don't do the arrows this way. There's an extra line in here. We'll, we'll get to that part. Don't worry about <laughs> okay. that. We'll get yeah. to the fun stuff. Let's just get a get O triple S in here. O triple S is like the test bed for a lot of these things. So let's see O triple S. I'm gonna remove exceptions from it, and then I'm gonna navigate to this library. And if it works, then we have an initial kind of approach that this is working yeah. for starters. Okay. Cool. If not? If not, we're going to have to kind of fix it. You yeah. know, we're going to have to fix it. I don't even know if I have the latest. Let's see if I have the latest uh, OSSS here. So let's, let's delete that. Clones. Okay. Delete. My my uh, my machine is starting to give me warnings because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Visual Studio instances running. Look at my machine; it's giving me red warning. Do you see that red warning? Yeah. yeah. Be like, <laughs> be like you're you're going crazy. Uh, okay. Screw you. <laughs> okay, so access to this path is not okay. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm a book. Sorry. Um, okay, so this is O triple S. Okay, I want to get the latest. Let's see if we can get the latest. 
Okay, and I also want to make sure that I have is this mine or someone else get remote dash v yeah this is this is it get log one z elbic or uh or mahadir that's that's our project yeah get log dash two yeah, i think we're, i think we're in the right place september 9th okay all right first of all let me run the acceptance tests on this just to make sure things are functional can you let me see with you Oh, oh, am I still sharing uh, exceptions with you? Okay, no. sorry about that. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, it looks like, <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's connected to the database, the that's local it. database. That's so that means, uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's enough, right? So, <laughs> so, so I'm going to go and remove. I'm going to remove the exceptions um, identity. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to remove. Yeah, because I think identity is carrying both exceptions and and I think so. Data SQL light framework. Oh, well, that's interesting. I thought it would be here. Let me look at the NuGet packages for this project. Well, it is definitely yeah. using it. Yeah, there it is. It's it's using identity, which yeah. I think has both, right? It does have both. Wow, Are I need you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exceptions identity. Like if you look at, let me show you. So I'm going to switch over to the other, uh, the other screen here. So identity DB context, right? Yeah. This guy should have the, look the save changes async stuff. The exact same ones as the DB context base, right? So it should be okay, I think. exceptions.identity.core. So which one do we have on our uh, OSS in here? I guess the identity. Exception identity. Yeah, how come yeah. it's not saying identity.core? Did you change the names or something? Is that what it is? Like, like, did you propose this .core part? You know? No. Okay. Okay. No. There is this guy... Yeah, this guy is taking exceptions identity mm. context, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna so, uninstall. Huh? I'm gonna uninstall it from here. Let's take that guy out. Okay. Now, hell will break loose, right? There's nothing. It's it's dead, right? And then yeah. I'm gonna go and navigate, and add in a reference. <clears throat> And add in a reference to an existing project. And this reference to that existing project will be exceptions. Exceptions. With its current state, of course. So I'm going to take in... Which one should I take? Should I take... The core identity? identities. <clears throat> that should work, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and you need also... Mm. So if I go into dependencies and add project reference and just add identity in here, mm -hmm. that should light things up, right? Yeah. Uh, what happened? Was yeah. I pronounced this? I need to not be. No, it's just it just needs a build. That's all. Okay, let's rebuild everything. <laughs> when that build. The... Yeah. So this is detected package downgrade. Detected package downgrade. Let's see why this guy is not happy first. So if I build just this guy alone, uh, there is a package downgrade from entity framework. Ah, it just keeps running away. Uh, to blah, blah, blah from the project. Okay, so you're basically, okay, I think we can fix this too. Mm -hmm. So I think the entity framework version that you 
basically it's newer, up, yeah. is newer, right? So mm -hmm. let's see if we can upgrade this. It's Entity Framework Core. No, yes. And uh -huh, there it is. So all yeah. of them are kind of six except for identity. So let's let's normalize all of them. I'm gonna yeah, put no, it's six eight. There's even six nine now. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, so if if I upgrade like this, I think it should be happy a little. Come on, be happy. Build. Okay, now what? Now it's saying identity core could not be found because it's not yeah, built. Yeah, because you need to reference to to have reference also to the .NET, to the core project. I to think. the core project, right? So let me add a reference to the core project as well. So yeah, you're right. So identity core. Maybe right? you could just make release uh, release the, the the project, this exception project, and just. Uh, make reference to the DLL. Yeah, there it is. We got it. No, okay, fine. <laughs> That's it. Well, this is how I test these, right? This is how I test yeah. these libraries in general, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay, let's see now. Let's see. Moment of truth. Um, Here exactly. we go. <laughs> let's see. Is this library going to work? <laughs> <laughs> are you making you know the, the heartbeat <laughs> yes yes <laughs> well it looks like it's working but let's just wait mm. until the end let's see exactly i don't, I don't trust you <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just kidding i think it's working you know i don't this... trust any code sorry <laughs> unless it has this in it, you know if it has this i think that's a good thing right no <laughs> So you're going to force so all your customers to upgrade to .NET 6, mm -hmm. .NET, no, Entity Framework 6.8, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah. where there's 9 now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Should also we, keep our we just, libraries updated. Yeah, what, what we just experienced is what they used to call in the early 2000 DLL hell because you have mismatched <laughs> libraries. Right, okay. and back then people didn't care much about backwards compatibility, mm. so upgrading to a future version does not guarantee. Yeah, I know it's working, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we need to try it on a project that doesn't use core identity like a normal project. Actually, yeah. let me run the acceptance, the uh, unit test. It's, it's, a, it's only a thousand four hundred, nothing big, takes a minute. To finish there you go <laughs> 31 seconds it is caching man. no it's not <laughs> it's really? not caching. no it's just a really properly engineered test <laughs> <That's the whole. laughs> <You know? laughs> so so uh so that's good right so that basically means we have these exceptions okay i'm a brook now let's try it with a project that does not that does not use core identity, but rather uses a uh, SQL like Git file, right? So I'm gonna go into yeah. I'm gonna go into Git file core. Hmm. Git file when core. when you install a new version of NuGet package, and this new NuGet package have dependency to other NuGet package, so you have to install it. So they will install it, so they will not have problem. They they not just that, but imagine you have, like you have library X mm. and library X is using library A version one and you have library Y that's using library A version two. If you pull them both together, you're going to get that error. It'll force you to have library A upgraded to sorry, library X upgraded that's to A2 because of the mismatch, because all these DLLs just go into the same folder. Yeah. So now what are you going to do? There's a clash between these two files, right? You're going to have one of them is going to have to override the other. No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, that, that's just a library kind of, I think, I think we should be good, Mabruk. I think the, like just preliminary test 
I think this should be okay. What I'm going to do now is that I need to go back and kind of just uh, review uh, syntactically yeah. what's happening because there's a lot of things in here that I'm not sure about. Like, for instance, stuff like this. Put, let's see, put the fat arrow up. And then there's an extra line. You're going fast, huh? Removing. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go back and leave a bunch of comments on these, but I mm -hmm. think this should be okay. Okay, I think this, this should be okay. I'll, I'll go and, <clears throat> and, and kind of approve most of these. Uh, it, sh it should be okay. Cool, my friend? Cool. What's the future of exceptions? What are we going to do with it next? Cosmos. <laughs> Cosmos DB. Yeah. We need to figure out for Cosmos DB. Yeah. Right and, I need and to, uh -huh. yeah, go ahead. And maybe blob storages as well. Yeah. So Cosmos DB blob storages. Uh, what else people are using? I don't know. Maybe at some point in time, man, we can. Dynamo DB. Dynamo DB is this still no, alive? No, it's not. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I used it but, for seven years. Oh man, you're you're. But is it? Yeah. This is not. I don't know how if they have. Uh. No, I, I think, uh, for, for example, uh, MongoDB, they have their own, their own um, C Sharp driver. Oh, DynamoDB, so they... yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I don't mind if people are using it. I also know that there is one that's called Redshift. Redshift is also there. It's Amazon yeah. Redshift. It's their own product. Mm -hmm. uh, Redshift is great for, like, I, I guess... I, so Redshift is okay for normal production. Glacier though is for like archive data, not this Glacier. Yeah. Glacier DB. Yeah, there it is. Amazon S3 Glacier storage. Mongo I think. DB. Yeah. Is that what it is? A Mongo DB. This this is Amazon. Oh, yeah, this is the Amazon one. one. So there's all these kind of different products. I don't know. Like, I don't know if they all have Entity Framework support. No. Like, we don't know if they even have Entity Framework support. So that's number one thing. We don't know, yeah. right? Let's just take a quick look. How many DB technologies EF supports? Let's see here. I know for the, for Mon MongoDB, they have the, the, the c -sharp drive or something like that. For MongoDB, yeah, yeah, but the driver yeah. is the driver would be for yeah. Let's see, can multiple database providers? It's not entity it. framework anyway. Yeah. Uh, you know, Khalid, this or write this is writing. Oh, oh this brother writing. here. Yeah, this this brother Amazing here was making man. fun of me on Twitter. <laughs> he wrote a tweet: "How to be a good engineer." He he is working for Resharper, so I, I answer it: "Don't use Resharper." <laughs> <laughs> so, I I posted. It was a joke. So let me, let me tell you. No, I no, I love that. So I posted the other day. Let me tell you. I posted the other day. A a thing that says, "Hey, disable this nonsense with yeah. the nullable implicit." Look what he did. He went and put in a giphy that says, "Disable fun." <laughs> Look, if I didn't like him so much, I would have given him a, like a witty comment. He's all right. I I, I know he's him. Cool. I know I, I know he's he's uh, he works really hard and he very, very Khalid, smart. Khalid yeah. Khalid yeah. That's the guy. Yeah. New Camperland, PA. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> I really don't. He likes cats. We have that in common. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see. Okay, so Khalid, Khalid and his jet brains. For God's sake, man. Dude. <laughs> let's see. So let's just say, entity framework providers. Here it is. I just want to know. 
So what? Who, who do we support? SQL, SQL Lite, in memory, in memory. Postgres. 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 That's right. MariaDB, uh, Maria. Oracle, 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 SQL, Fire, Firebird, DB2. I think DB2 is IBM. Yep, yep, yep. IBM. Mm -hmm. And then Microsoft Access. I didn't know that. <laughs> I did well, not know that. Time. Teradata database. Google Cloud, ooh, stores data. That's Morris. What is this? Is that just one guy that's just supporting <laughs> stores data and files? Oh, file context core. Oh, just just raw files. Nice. And then SQL Server compact, and then SQL Server, and then prog progress open edge by Alex Weiss. We should pick this uh, link mm -hmm. in our repository somewhere. So not, so not, like our ambitions are a little bit higher here because it doesn't seem to be supporting all of these different, like it's helping with SQL Lite. That's why you did, and also MySQL. That's great. We could probably take care of it for Postgres as well. Yeah. You know. Nice, nice. All right. Anyway, my dear friend, I mean, I would hope that it would support Glacier and things like that, but I guess that support doesn't exist yet. Someone's going to have to go write the library. It's not really it's not really that hard either. It's just someone needs to sit down and say, I'm going to support this library, and yeah. that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Anyway, you know, so in terms of future, maybe we can support the existing investments that the Entity Framework team has put in there. You know, to be honest with you, between you and I, I am contemplating writing my own kind of entity framework like libraries because there are things that I don't like about it. Like yeah. the fact that you're just throwing DB update exceptions <laughs> or concurrency exceptions yeah. and I have to build the library on top of that just to do that mapping is annoying. Yeah. Right. So somehow I need to kind of, I might, I might create something called database sense, just like restful sense storage sense or something like that. Yeah. And it will, directly handle the communication you know yeah. but that's a lot of work like the stuff that the entity framework folks are doing in terms of you saw with the odata neo project you know how crazy it is like these expression expression trees building yeah. an expression all that it's an entire team dude like yeah. you know there are people in the entity framework team they don't like to go public but the folks that you see that's just the tip of the iceberg so you have jeremy lickness you have shy you have uh, arthur you have these folks, but there's a lot more folks down there mm -hmm. that they don't just like to go in public, but they're really, really smart people. The Wozniaks mm -hmm. of the Entity Framework team, basically. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my dear brother, I think the library is in good shape. I think the pull request is good. What we really just need to do is to basically go and say, and, and thank you so much for doing this. Uh, I just need to kind of review the pull request and just kind of make mm -hmm. some recommendations around just, just code cleanup, just matching yeah. standardization, stuff like that. Yeah. What do you think about that? Do you think that's a good deal? Sure. Good. Deal. The other thing that I wanted to, to kind of thank you for is your, just for the people watching, there is a, a massive kind of project that Mabrook and I started recently where we basically decided to uh, translate. We're really translating the standard, right? So you'll see all these translations. Just like just yesterday, Mabrook, yesterday, some guy reached out to me. I know him for a while. His name is Firqi Ismail. I... He said to me, I want to tr translate it to Sinhalese, I think. Okay. You know, that's in Indonesia or Malaysia, mm -hmm. something like that. So he's doing that. Thank you Ooh. for your French translation. <laughs> it's not finished yet, though. It's not done yet, I know. Yeah. And, you, and you've been asleep for half a month. But uh, that's okay. <laughs> Look at all this. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, man, that's that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I'll take care of the Arabic one. I know you don't mm -hmm. like it. I know you think it's old school Arabic, but you know, let no, me just put something out there and we can modify it. What do you think about that? Like, I know this yeah. is like, I know if someone read this, they'll be like, what is this? Did, did, did yeah. they, they may have wrote this? Who wrote this? You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I know that the language could be a little bit simpler and easier. I know that, yeah. but I, I need to put at least something out there, you know? And then hopefully people will come in and be like, hey, man, you know, why why this language is so hard? Mm -hmm. You know, we can, we can 
when it's finished, we can go through it again. And this yeah. is what I will do also the French version. I will finish it just quickly and then I will print it out and read it. Send and it to schools. Correct. Yeah. You know, you should I find to read with pen, with with paper and pen and correct it. Oh yeah, is that, is that how you do it? Oh yeah, you told me that you yeah. print it out and you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you know this no, is no. this is great. I think I think we're going places with this. I think there's a lot of you know. I think also the Italian the Italian and the Uzbek mm -hmm. project is really good and very active. Like if you go into the Italian and the Uzbek Uzbek project, this Italian project. No he, he went places. He went all the way up to no, pass it forward. No standard. <laughs> well, you know how to read know. that? I don't no. think. So. Yeah, that's 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 a Just little kidding. different. Yeah, Ervin no. Dominion. Dominion. Yeah, he's taking care of it. I'm sorry, Ervin, cool. if I said the name wrong. Okay, so Ervin cool. is entering. It looks like he's entering the open source space through this. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. At least for this year. And also the Uzbek. You know, the, 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 this part is very active. No. Just two days ago, if you look at, so people are, are basically it's like picking, Turkish. No, this is not Turkish. This is Uzbek. It's like it's it looks. Oh no, yeah, yeah. It's very, like, very, very similar. Very, That's right. Yeah. Broker business. <laughs> I think this is just broke. nice. I'm very happy. Broker, <laughs> it should be. <laughs> Lar is in Turkish like a plural, like yeah. the S. In the, so yeah. Okay, my dear brother, thank you so much. You know, you this too. is this is just like kind of quick catch up, you know, yeah. on on project updates. And uh, you know, I'll I'll check back with you later. There's a lot of projects across, you know. I mean, I'm writing another library, you know, like you mm -hmm. should come out soon. So sure. uh, that's just gonna be an, another <laughs> library that people have to kind of know about. You yeah. know, if they, if they want to develop something complex for cul-de-sac patterns and stuff like that, but other than that, who was I? You know, I was also talking to Chris Chris yesterday. I don't know if you saw the session about tracing. I love this, man. There will be some changes in there, right? Uh -huh. Join these sessions sometimes. Mm, right? I will. <laughs> all right, my friend. Any last remarks from your side? Anything at all? No, fine. All right. I, you know, Thank you. Yeah. I, you know, for people watching us, I hope you kind of, you know, had a little bit of fun watching this. I mean, I know we go through like five or six different topics right yeah. <laughs> but i think that's okay because you know this is basically one big community with a yeah. lot of projects all over the place and we're just trying the ultimate goal of this project is to enhance the engineering experience the stuff that mabrook is doing here could be very very useful for someone who is wants to build standard compliance systems but also wants to use sql light or mysql or anything like that you know mm -hmm. now they can find a library and exceptions that allows them to get these meaningful exceptions out of out of the uh, database integration and right. of course, for the people watching us, you know, if you like this session, you know, smash that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to comment, you know, if you have any comments, if you have any concerns or questions, and I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much, Mabrook. Thank you, too. Take yeah. care, brother. See you.